people not sympathetic, they sting me for fun. Well, I feel in the pain, but I get in a vibe in the brain. Mama, yo, I start to dance, I start to branch, because the buzzing of the bee formed this beautiful melody.
Now in um, trying to be kind of them, of the bands were no longer bringing out um, King and Beans a competition yet the other bands who are producing two or sometimes three per band. But I guess uh, it's all about the economy, it's about the people who have money to make this costume. We here in Trinidad and Tobago, we know the, yes, the amount of money that's um, been spent on some of the carnival costumes. They are now going at anything like six to a hundred thousand dollars, which is a lot of money. And uh, quite often it is put out by the mass trader by the band leaders, but uh, it's mainly the masquerade who the people who wish to portray King or Queen have to go and look for people to help them the money to put on these costumes. This Leroy Credo is Temujin, the mighty ruler and warrior. Temujin, the mighty ruler and warrior. And it's from the band Warriors of York. 
Well, it's good to see that uh, the tradition continues. We know that for many, many years, the, the dragons and the demons were so much fun of Trinidad and Tago Carnival. Um, it, it's not very often now that you see the devils and demons on stage. And he is giving uh, the crowd a touch of the devil dance. Years ago, they used to actually roll in the canal and crawl on the streets. But uh, with this size, this costume, I don't think he's able to do this. But he certainly has the, the dance that we all know, that famous dragon dance. It is uh, definitely the smallest costume we've seen here this evening, but it's by no means the least effective. As a matter of fact, because it is such a small costume, this masquerader is able to just take the audience by storm. I don't know if you're, you're picking up the sound from the audience, but every time he turns and makes a move, we're hearing a lot of um, tapping, and, and you know that he has, in fact, created the impact that he wanted to. From the band of Warriors of Yore, Leroy Fredo, Tim Chin, Mighty Ula, and Warrior. So Leroy Pedro getting a, a good round of applause there from the audience with his uh, portrayal. He's having a good time because he has nothing to worry about to carry that costume. Although, uh, you know, maybe we're fool and we think, okay, look small. I imagine you have to have a rather strong back and see what to know. We're going to have a costume now which uh, I'm so happy made it into the final. I remember when I was uh, looking in the semi-final with Gail Scobin and we saw this costume in the competition. It's much smaller than any costume that you will see in King of Carnival competition. But uh, it's just delightful. It's, uh, my way of describing it is a happy costume. Where a lot of the masqueraders, a lot of the king panelists brought out on stage, he simply brought out his little remote map god. Dancing and prancing, this is Mad Manny. The bizarre buffoon of all clowns. That's the name of the portrayal. Agazani, the bizarre buffoon of all clowns. This is uh, from the band Jail Dream. And no matter what age you are, we all dream. We all have to dream. And sometimes they even say, why don't you dare to dream? So pretty. And um, the poor little mascot sort of just goes round and round, leading him in various directions. But uh, it's mainly a, a large skirt on the waist of the clown. And then we see some enormous wings on either side. Those are painted green. And it's in fact uh, hand painted. Very much and give it a set almost of uh, flowing water. but um, fluorescently um, and, and generated uh, quite a bit of steam so the cosmic string lot. There's got another of judges and I'm really happy about that. Leroy Grego, if they come ahead of the from the band here, Dream. traditional uh, costume and uh, the clown is in that category because years ago numerous masquerades would portray various clowns. Bertram Gordon and Santander being most famous for his uh, numerous hotels. They say the most difficult thing to do is to be a clown. Most people who did filming tell you to make people laugh is very wonderful but that they have to be up all the time. They can't afford to have anything sad into their minds when they're doing it. And of course, even my clowns are acting out very, very sad moments. They are having out laughter in all of us. Let's be a great one. on stage, she's the fourth competitor to come up here before the judges.
the power to Leroy Preto. Wing top. So we can expect that move. But here we go. We were, we were supporting this mistake. Yeah. Uh, we were the one that was expected. It. It's fully supported. Fully supported by the uh, by Mr. Preto. Um, you know. So there are wheels involved in this module. And that I think is movement and it's beautiful. And I'm talking such a great program. <laughs> Turns around, and I think that choreography that he's using there on stage really does give you feel across the tail. The mythology. The obelisk, of course, is the center of mass depicting the palette of the father or assist which, according to Egyptian mythology, was swallowed by the fish. A back to the costume. The fish was aimed at neither to the throw, I will leave it here, Brown. Oxy, Renaissance. The third thing represents the candle of horror uh, reflected the light of the subzone. I think this is a collected costume. And, and, and that's a colour unusual too. Sort of nothing is the muted tone for costume. He also told us about the fishing rod and so which comes the mobility. And I think this is uh, one of the discoveries of a uh, child that works with children to play so that you get some mobility. Now that's what you will at the van and I like to yes, try to get better tips of the rich that uh, no. I think but you still get the lovely iridescence of this part. It's just enough, I think. I think benefit of this from underlining, but yeah. uh, unfortunately that's going to be available. Of course, the symbols, the whole group sit on the wingspan, the detail achieved through air patchwork. I've been very good at the better now, Matt Bayer here south, and clearly you're seeing the ability to move very long across the round. And he's very tall man himself. His head piece is um, really beautiful if we should see that detail, but it might be difficult. But there we go, we see a little bit of it. And birds, and he's in. The testament to the, uh, the same because that he's able to move so effective without coming over. I would think they would have wanted to um, see a little bit more of the last two costumes, but this one is much lighter. Um, and I love the glide of this on a scooter. Uh, position number four, Ronald Myers. Uh, from the Conquest. Fancy Sailor. Hi, that's the boss. Kurt uh, Chucho is the leader of this uh, wonderful costume. Well, in terms of what he seems for, this is really uh, a more costume right now. Natu. He is just having a boy. I remember the, the same impact that he had on um, this lovely um, pair like in it remind me very much of the in, in front you have the mime artist. And of course the clown. Jester. Yeah. Jester clown. He's um he's almost um just sending lots of love. I would imagine children wanting to spend a lot of time around this costume. Yeah, so we have different perspectives of Jester and of course our job must be born there up at top. The protective lost mask surrounding him and uh, beautifully uh, good movement out costume. That's a beautiful span and uh, they're using the mesh to really give you uh, that uh, Look that uh, everything is suspended in the atmosphere. 
And of course, two levels on that costume with a set of jab, uh, the jester at the top with a mask that surrounds him. Three masks at the top of the costume, at the top of the Essex, at the mask, the clown. And there's the turns. We see the back of the costumes developed by the mask as well. You know, um, I think that the people who came out with numbers put the wrong number of this costume today. This is Leroy Prato. This is the dancing joker from the band. I think you're right. Vegas. That's right. I was just looking and saying, you know, what we were talking about, not to do, Mr. Um, you yes, that, right. So this is Eva La Vega, this is number five, and it is the music of the Stephen, which transforms from the evil joker to the dancing joker, and the star of Las Vegas there. Um, you sure about this? Yes, absolutely. The mannequin picture the joker above Masquerade, as well as the Masquerade yes. dress as the joker, and they represent various explosions uh, and the many phases of the joker. Well, I hope the judges don't get misled, because... Uh, I do hope so, because um, they definitely came out with an incorrect number, and so we were just looking at our notes and... and so well, that's well. uh, when I took a look at it, I saw no, no, this could never be that costume. This is Nemo Cradle, the dancing joker. And uh, this is in the fantasy category. Which is category. definitely more uh, um, He larger. is from the band, yeah, Viva La Viva, Vega. Yes. Which is higher with promotion. So sorry about that. We were a little bit misled, and I hope the judge would have misled as well. This would be quite a statue. It was very sad for the gentleman who is in the portrayal. And of course, this band's out of style, and there's a scooter moving, gliding across the stage. Very wonderful costume. Leroy Cradle. Leroy Preto, Unada. Unada, Brother King of Butter Combat and Ruler of the Outer World, I declare I am ruler of this carnival. In reptile form coming out of the mystic forest, I will resist all the puns and evils you can come with. I will hypnotize you with my match concocted with dance and music. I will leave you Basil D. I am Unada, I am so no one. Can you kill me? This one is for you. <laughs> this costume is the character paint, a character of the game Mortal Kombat, standing 20 feet tall, 25, made most of fabric, fiberglass rods, and fishing rod, which was done by Leroy Well, this is the costume Onaga worn by Leroy Kato, and uh, again, it is the costume where we see the use of fiberglass um, at its best, really, with all the ornate airbrushing that to create the, the majority of the image that we're seeing on this costume. The, the actual character is a reptile, and as you look at him, uh, there are certain points in this costume that they've spent a lot of um, thought in creating something just move so easily on the day. The, the wind is sort of uh, causing the major part of the costume cascade, almost hiding the, the masquerader in his portrayal. But they have these enormous wings that um, decorate it. Very um, unusual, because instead of just making the entire wing as it speaks, which is the material part of the reptile, they have put uh, all around these um, other airbrush colors, green and yellow. It's from the band Fireworks Promotions, Leroy Pito, Oniga. And um, I, I hope you were listening to the announcer, they had their own voiceover for his entrance onto the stage, and he was talking about being his own man and doing what he wants, and uh, then there was right there and he said, this one's for you, Auntie Joan. And see, of course, at the back, tail of a reptile. I think it's only in the portrayals of Trinidad Carnival that um, the designers could actually make a reptile look beautiful. Because most of us would shy away and run as fast as we could. But these are costumes that you want to look at because it's a genius, really, the way this fiberglass has been used to create this um, portrayal. So, Hypnotic getting a king into the final as well. We saw the queen represented earlier on. So, Leroy Frito in position nine. So, in, that means in position nine, I should say. That means that um, Ronald Myers, the music man, has not appeared. He's not appeared yet because some guy has not finished the touches.
Ayo, Ayo, Ayo is uh, he is a uh, uh, he come to talk to the nation about 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 you know um, violence and love. This costume is a is a love costume is a love thing. I am speaking to the nation about love. Every year we costume to someone, right? A tribal as a tribal to Auntie Jun. I read Unagala say and tribute to costume to Auntie Jun. The year before tribute to Auntie Jun. And so this year. Oh, most of my um, trail, the music I use is style music, right? And, and this, this year music is style music to bond them with the song. So we, we, my wife and I, we do crew, we, we, we really come to one conclusion, this is all in this, this, this costume. But through in period of this, getting the costume together, we need to start off with She will look in a short and honey, this is why I'm dancing this costume for you tomorrow night. So there you heard from the Moscarita herself, Leroy Prito, the Moscarita Eo. Beautiful presentation on stage, and this is a uh, you actually stems from uh, Lego. It's actually a copy or uh, a character, and then the top of the Lego culture is actually when the Earth was raised. That's been done.